Hello fellow adventurers, we are back again with our California series. This is the second video from our California series where we are visiting some of the breathtaking national parks and mountains of Eastern California. If you haven't checked our previous video on Death Valley National Park, please do so. Today we are heading towards Lake Mammoth from Bishop where we stayed last night. Although it's called Mammoth Lakes, it is actually a town in Mono County of California. It is located immediately to the east of Mammoth Mountain at an elevation of 7,880 feet. Mammoth Lakes is famous for some of the beautiful lakes, mighty Mammoth Mountain and one of the largest ski resorts of USA. It will take us about 45 minutes to reach Mammoth Lakes Town. Our plan is to visit some of the lakes and the ski resort. This short journey from Bishop to Mammoth Lakes is breathtaking as it offers spectacular views of the surrounding mountains. We have reached at Lake Mammoth Visitor Center. We'll take a quick break and talk to someone at the visitor center to decide which route we should follow. We are now heading towards Twin Lakes. Twin Lakes are located at the heart of the breathtaking Mammoth Lakes region. We'll be stopping at Twin Lakes Vista Point. The Twin Lakes Vista is one of the most spectacular roadside viewpoints in the area and a great introduction to the Mammoth Lakes Basin, for which the town of Mammoth Lakes are named. From the Vista Point you can see Twin Lakes backdropped against the Mammoth Crest. Dangerous times don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Twin Lakes are first lakes visitors come to within the Mammoth Lakes Basin. Many more lakes lie in just beyond the Twin Lakes, but we can go there by car. You have to start hiking from here to go to those lakes. So we'll spend some time here and then we'll go to the ski area. Heading towards the ski resort now, we have parked our car and waiting for the shuttle which will take us to the ski area. 
it's better to use the shuttle from here rather than using your own car as the roads start to become slippery due to snow. The place is very crowded today as the weather is perfect for skiing and snowboarding. The shuttle has dropped us here and we can see thousands of people here today for skiing and snowboarding. Mammoth Mountain is very famous for this ski resort during winter. Towering at over 11,000 feet, Mammoth Mountain offers skiers and snowboarders a paradise with an extensive network of trails for all the skill levels. the gondola to go to the top of the mountains. Gondola ticket costs $50 per person. We have been informed that they are not taking visitors at the top point due to the high wind condition today. Instead, they will take us to the halfway. This gondola ride was awesome. We have enjoyed the panoramic view of the whole ski resort. The pristine white canvas of the ski resort contrasts with the azure sky create a magnificent winter wonderland. spend some time at the ski resort now. Skiers are using chairlifts to go to the top and start their skiing from there. They have different points from where you can start your skiing and snowboarding. There are nice arrangements for food as well. They have stalls for different cuisines. You can just grab whatever you like and pay at the front. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven give something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I 
never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed Yeah Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just missing We are now heading back to the lower elevation but really, Mammoth Mountain Ski Area offers an unparalleled winter experience that truly captures the essence of alpine adventure. The holidays in Mammoth Lakes are magical. The beauty of the mountains and forest and the crunch of snow underfoot all combine a memorable experience. We will now visit Mono Lake, which will be on our way to our next destination, Lake Tahoe. Mono Lake is a majestic body of water covering about 65 square miles. It is an ancient lake over 1 million years old, one of the oldest lakes in North America. It has no outlet. The lack of an outlet causes high levels of salts to accumulate in the lake which make its water alkaline. The visitor center is now closed, so we couldn't enter into the center. The extremely high salinity and alkalinity of Mono Lakes has created a rare ecosystem supporting a complex food chain of green algae, brine shrimp, and alkali flies, and more than 80 species of migratory birds. Since 1978, the Mono Lake Committee has worked to protect Mono Lake, restore its tributary streams and surrounding lands, and educate the next generation about wise water use. These limestone towers are called Tufa Towers. Due to high alkalinity of the lake water, the water precipitates carbonate minerals such as calcite. High concentrations of dissolved calcium ions in these surface waters cause high amount of calcite to precipitate around the spring orifices. It took many decades or even centuries to form the well-recognized Tufa Towers. When lake's water levels is low, the Tufa Towers came to rise above the water surface and stand like the pillars. A sense of peace and serenity envelops Mono Lake as the sun beats its farewell. And we are heading toward our next destination to embrace another natural beauty that the world has offered. See you all in our next vlog. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel.